Greetings, greetings, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well everywhere you are. This is Sida Sil CEO once again, and thank you for joining our class 101. This class is for beginners, especially those who are starting out to, you know, know the basics. Especially, you need to download your MetaTrader 5. So today I'm going to show you how you're going to operate your MetaTrader 5. But without wasting much of your time, make sure you go to our website. Uh, we trading together in partnership with Scope Market at Sidaso Networks. So we're going to click under www.scopemarkets.co.za. This is our South Africa based uh, platform. So if you are international, uh, maybe in the UK or, you know, but remember to check in your country, you know, first. And so I'll show you how as well. So, but that is not important for now. You can still access this anywhere and how. And then once you get that, right, make sure that you check this menu by the top. So we've got the markets, we've got platforms, we've got account, we've got education. So we're going to click under education, right? So once we click under education, so we'll be able to select, uh, you'll be able to see different I mean, you're going to click under tutorials, right? Let me do that with you. You're going to click under video tutorials. So once we are done with that, <clears throat> once we are done clicking under video tutorials, we can then make sure that you just scroll down to check your videos attached here. So once you get there, you've got the social trading, which is your copy trading that teach you how copy trading works. We've got MetaTrader 5. Um, this is your mobile um, tutorial that we'll be going through and we've got your training tools, MetaTrader tutorials, right? So, I uh, hope you can see everything, even the trading terms. Those. So, but we're going to go through everything one by one for now. Let's focus on one thing at the time. So, we're going to click under MetaTrader mobile, right? We're going to learn how to use this mobile application. And we'll be able to learn the MetaTrader platform, uh, the how, how it works, how to use it, right? So we're going to click under MetaTrader tutorials. So kindly click on it, wait for it, wait for it to load. And uh, while it loads, just for those who, who didn't get what we said, click under education, click under video tutorials. And then uh, once you click under video tutorials, just click under MetaTrader mobile so you can understand how application works, right? So this is your trading MetaTrader, how it's going to work. So in the quotes page, you will see the main currency pairs in which you can trade. This page can also be accessed by tapping this icon. You can add a symbol by tapping the plus icon. So guys, um, on your MetaTrader 5 uh, app, you've got uh, four different options down there. The first one is codes, right? When you click under codes, that's when you need, when, when you want to look for certain, um, you, you're looking for certain asset class that you want to trade. Maybe you want to trade USD share. We can just check it out there. Cat share, get, get, I mean, cat JPY. You can uh, check it out. Canadian Japanese. You can check it out there. So, but otherwise, when you can't find anything there, then you can then click the plus sign there, right? Choose your preferred S. Once you click the plus sign, you'll see this file that says Forex, right? And then. Um, with our broker, you can also be able to see all different asset classes that we have, the crypto market, the indices, energies, and everything, right? So check it out. That's folder. Tap the asset you want to add. You can also search for an asset by tapping the magnifying glass icon. You can remove a symbol by tapping the pencil icon, tapping the trash can icon, selecting the desired assets, and tap the trash can icon again. 
You can select all assets by tapping the Select All icon. You can view the assets chart by tapping Open Chart. You can choose symbol properties to view information about the asset. By tapping here, you can switch between simple and advanced view modes. So that's how you can actually... In order to open a new... More options or on how you can see your chats, on how you can um, open your trades and... Uh, deal. Can... Tap an asset and then new deal. On the top, you will be shown the asset name. By tapping here, you can select a different asset. Here, you can choose whether the deal will be executed instantly, or if you tap here, you can change it to buy limit, sell limit, buy stop, or sell stop. By tapping here, you can set the lot. You can increase or decrease it by tapping the numbers next to it. Double tap will let you edit the lot manually. Here, you can view the quotes for the asset. And here, you can set the stop loss and take profit orders. So guys, uh, once you get to this page, right? So here it's where you'll be able to see the asset class that you're buying or can be able to select some that you want. And then here on the instant uh, execution, that's where you are able to choose if you want to place the trade now uh, on the market execution or buy limit or other tabs, right? You can simply click on it and then you'll be able to see other options like deviation, limit, um, stop orders and more. And then here it's where you put your stop loss. So this determine your volumes on how much you actually buy in this euro US dollars. And uh, make sure that this you actually you know focus on risk management because this is actually what can determine uh, your margin how you blow your accounts right make sure you use minimum lot size 0 0.001 as a new beginner you know you don't have to go for this just practice to be on the low risk mode and uh on the stop loss this is where you're going to put the stop loss so normally we do send out on the you know the stop loss level uh, on our VIP groups, just make sure that you fund your trading account and you register first first step, register with the link on the description below, fund with at least 500 rent, that is like uh, maybe 30 US dollars and plus, and then from then or more, right, and then from then we can then add you to the VIP group and then you can qualify for signals so you can put your stop loss correctly and your take profit as well so this is where you're going to determine where you're going to take your profit enables you to set the deviation range from the quoted price in pips. Tapping here will enable you to see real-time graph of the assets rate movement. To execute an order, tap buy or sell. A confirmation screen will be displayed and then you will be shown the open positions you have along with your account summary. You can also access this screen by tapping here. So guys, uh, that was all. In order to close a position, tap and hold the position and choose close order. You will be shown the graph with the option to close the deal on the bottom of the screen. Tap it to close the deal. A confirmation screen will be displayed. To modify a position, tap and hold an open position and choose modify order. Make the necessary changes and then tap modify. So you saw, uh, just for you to close a trade, you just need to tap the hold on that uh, asset that you're trying to close, and then you see different options. So when you click on close, automatically to close. When you click, when you select modify order, it's like you're just trying to adjust your stop loss or trying to, you know, increase your T TP or you know, uh, make changes uh, on your uh, TP or your stop loss. A confirmation screen will be displayed.
Tapping here will show you an assets graph. Here, you can view the assets price in real time. Here, you can view the asset and the time frame. Here, you can view the opening price, high price, low price, and closing price. The graph displays a Japanese candlestick's view of the price movement. Each candlestick represents one time period, so here, every candlestick represents five minutes. If the color of the candlestick is black, it means the closing price was lower than the opening price. If the color is white, it means the closing price was higher than the opening price. The wicks show the strength of the bulls and the bears over that time period. Oh, wow. You can scroll the graph by dragging the chart. Any indicators will be shown beneath the graph. On the right side, you can see the rates. At the bottom, you can see the time axis. If you tap here, you can see the helper lines. You can view each of the candlesticks data here. You can add indicators by tapping here. You add indicators by tapping here and selecting from the list. In order to remove indicators, tap the tr So on this button, uh, right on the indicators one, remember once you click on this uh, plus add indicator, you'll be able to see different options like uh, your oscillators, your bully, uh, you know, or oh, different strategies, sorry about that, moving averages, right? You can be able to uh, choose your relative strength index. So there are just a lot of uh, options that you can choose. Uh, there are a lot of people prefer different strategies. Uh, these are indicators that you can be able to use as well. So uh, let's see. Trash can, select the indicators you wish That's to remove remove and tap the trash can again. You can change the displayed asset by tapping here and selecting the one you wish to view. Tapping here will let you change the time frame. Tapping here will allow you to place an order. In order to view your trading history, tap here. You will be displayed your past positions. You can set the time period by tapping here. So on this indicator, you are able to see your trading history. Remember, I taught you how to place the trade. So if you want to see the history, this is where you're going to see your history on the calendar icon. You can tap here to view a certain asset. That's, that's how you see the assets. You can view important news updates by tapping here. These are provided for you in order to help you make the right choices while trading. Those are the news that they provide for MetaTrader. So guys, hope you're taking notes. You, you, you can also do this while you also, you know, uh, have downloaded your MetaTrader 5 and you're doing it practically with us so that you can get fully the training and you get started. So that's how you can actually operate MetaTrader mobile, uh, you know, app. So guys, make sure you get it fully and then you... After installing the MT4 application, you will be prompted to add an account. So now let me show you how you can add an, the account, right? So make sure you register with our scope market link. So there's a link on the description below and we're going to help you open your trading account. You can even open a demo to give it a test. And uh, once you're done with that, you can just click the plus sign, right? Make sure you, you upload the right document so that you get verified fast. And for questionnaire test, uh, if you don't know how to answer those, uh, uh, you know, the question, because it's important that you pass the test. This is because of we are authorized by the FSCA and we own ODP license, we are regulated. And it's important that we go through everything by law, right? So once everything is done, you're verified, then we can take you through the dashboard, right? So make sure you also WhatsApp the number on the description below. If you find yourself, uh, you know, in any problems, then we can assist you with uh, any of the challenges that you might be facing. So the aim is to educate you guys for free, give you free signals and help you get started. So once you're done, you're going to click this plus sign. 
Tap the plus icon in the upper right corner. To open a personal demo account, tap the second option. You will be prompted to search for your broker name. After selecting your broker, set your personal and account name. So this is how you can, uh, you know, log into your trading account. So Information. So I'm sorry, tap I'm scroll down just uh, below here. That's where you can log in, right? Create account. A summary window will appear. To start, tap ready. This is how you do the demo of BAT for MetaTrader 5, right? So, once that is done, you can also log in if you've got the details for MetaTrader 5. If you can just open it through our you know, dashboard once you have logged in. Just click under trading accounts, open your real account, start funding, or open your demo account from the Scope Market Broker and, and test the broker. The spreads are nice, very tight spreads, and uh, you know, the leverage is good. So, I think we are done with MetaTrader uh, mobile lessons. So, today, of course, let, let, let's uh, take it slowly. Tapping here. So this is for the indicators. Those who didn't get it for indicators. We'll show you an assets graph. Here, you can view the assets price in real time. Here, you can view the asset and the time frame. So this is the time frame, right? That determines how much, I mean, how, what, at what time, uh, you know, you buy in this, um, the, the candles that close right so it means each and every five minutes this candle will close every five minutes this candle closes every five minutes this candle closes right so this is where you can even change it you can just uh, tap on the screen you'll be able to see that circle and then you can choose different time frame that you want to trade on here you can view the opening price so this are the opening prices uh, for this Euro, Euro, Ketan, High price, Italy, low price, so. and closing price. The graph it's displays a Japanese top. candlestick's view of the price movement. Each candlestick represents one time period. So here, every candlestick represents five minutes. If the color of the candlestick is black... So, uh, new members. So you can even set, change the, the, you know, the colors for this candle by clicking on this menu bar under settings. There are different colors that you can, you know, change. I'll also show you on the next, uh, you know, on the next uh, lessons. So, but however, you can just click under settings, you'll be able to see that menu bar. And um, these white candles represent the buy candles. So some people set it as a green candles right and then this blacks this black candles represent sell so some people set it as sell right whichever way suits for you just remember just to indicate that uh, the market is buying at that time and when the market is selling at that time it means the closing price was lower than the opening price so this was the closing closing um, candle for the buy at the time but if you check the the selling candle closed, closed below this, uh, you know, closing one, right? So that's how you can read the candle. We also teach you how to read the candlesticks. If the color is white, it means the closing price was higher than the opening price. The wicks show the strength of the bulls and the bears over that time period. You can scroll the graph by dragging the chart. Any indicators... So if you want to move to the left, to the right, you can just uh, scroll in your chat bus and then they'll move around. Will be shown beneath the graph. On the right side, you can so see the rates. The At the bottom, you can the see the time axis. If you tap here, you can see the helper lines. You can view each of the candlesticks. So this is your helper lines to see, you know, uh, w if let's say you want to check if this candle closed at what price, you can then move it and check what price was it. Because if you can check here, uh, there's only price for these grids, right? In the middle, there's no uh, prices. Data here. You can add indicators by tapping here. You add indicators by tapping here and selecting from the list. So this is where you can change your uh, parameters if you want to end, 
I mean, to add anything, whether it's removing average, the envelopes, uh, or different indicators, then you'll be able to select different, um, you know, if you want the period to be put in, normally it's just written for you. So if you want to change it to simple or exponential, you can just click here. And if you want to do with close or open, then that's your style, right? This is just to help you. In order to remove indicators, tap the trash can, select the indicators you That's how you remove everything, every indicator you want to remove. Wish to remove and tap the trash can again. So remember this course is to, rem to, to help you understand the MetaTrader platform. It's, we are not actually in the courses yet, so we're still going to go through the basics. You can change the displayed asset by tapping here and selecting the one you wish to view. Tapping here will let you change the time frame. Tapping here will allow you to place an order. So thank you so much guys for joining us and uh, see you next time.